Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So it seemed like y'all really enjoyed the first episode of Strange Horticulture and I got a lot of requests in the comments to continue the game so I thought we would do that today. I really want to complete it so let's see how long that takes us. <laughs> okay, we are day... we're day three on a Sunday. Oh, I love the music. I forgot how much I liked the music. Day three. Oh yeah, we just got this last time. The north of Hawkshead. Okay, do we have to try and find this? Because this is going to be hard, I feel. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Crinklecrags. How are we going to be able to find that? So this is the compass. I've already forgotten all those places. Here's Lowick. Where were the other places? Crinklecrags, Hawkshead. What was the last one? North is like this section. So north is up. East of Lowick would mean it had to be like from here to this side. West of Rustland. Oh, Rustland's here. Okay, so it's this here. I think it's this tile here. If it's east of Lowick, but west of Rustland, it must be this tile. South of Crinkle Crags. Okay, where is that? Oh, here. Okay, Crinkle Crags is here. So it's this tile. It must be. Okay, let's try it. This exact tile, I think. Fingers crossed I got it right. Okay, I'm doing it. <gasps> My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing in the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing, a whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face. But only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger and I'm surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. <gasps> Ooh, we got new flowers from that. Ooh, look at the ones we got. They're cute. Okay, we got it right. Oh my gosh, I'm actually proud. That was my puzzling instincts. I really worked hard on that puzzle. It took me way too long. <laughs> Let's pet our kitty. And should we open for the day? Wilbur Miller, have we met you before? I'm looking for a plant. Um, lady of... What's it? Something or other. Ugh, I'm no green-eyed Drea. That's for sure. My mind isn't all where it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline lady of summer okay and also i want to see if he has a bio maybe it doesn't seem like he does i don't think we can register his bio he must just be like a normal customer then okay a lady of summer please Ooh, this is how it looks does any of them look like that maybe this one not really maybe this blue one perhaps the leaves curl round delightfully which combined with an attractive flower and hardy nature make this a sought after ornamental plant Aids of condition of memory deterioration associated with old age. Okay, the leaves curl round. Could it be this one? I think it might. Let's try it. The dark blue petals are soft and feathery to my touch. The fingers ache from handling this plant. Is it that? Oh, I can't tell. The leaves are kind of curling, but not like massively so. Do we have any other curly leaved plants? I think I will attempt this one. Let's see. See if it's right. Hopefully it is. <gasps> no, it was wrong. Heck. Oh no, I think I've gotten worse at this game. I don't know which one it could be. This one? The leaves are quite soft. No, it doesn't look like that. I literally don't know which one it could be. Like this one has curly stems or leaves. This one is very curly, but I don't think it's that. I don't know. Do I just like randomly choose some? Okay, let's just try this one. No! Oh no, we're gonna die. We're gonna have the rising dread. We have one more chance. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. We're gonna die. Are you ready? <laughs> no! Oh, I could have done a hint, couldn't I? Oops, I forgot about the hint. Oh, a shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. What does this mean? This is a new puzzle. I thought it was just gonna be the same, like, puzzle jigsaw thing. Oh, what the heck do I do here? It looks like this one would fit. No, this one. This one would fit, right? Did I get it right? Okay, oh, whoa, there's so many now. Okay, you gotta choose the right key. This one. Okay, next one. Um. Oh my gosh, it's getting harder. <laughs> this is so tricky. Is it this one? Yay, I did it. My mind is whole again. That wasn't too bad. That was easier than the puzzle, I think. <laughs> okay, we start the whole day again. Day three, Sunday. Right, I might go for a hint this time, perhaps. Let's see. I need to look back through my letters. I'm sure I remember seeing something that would lead me to a new map location and perhaps a new plant too. Oh, wait, have I not actually got the Lady of Summer yet, perhaps? Okay, let's look for our letters. This one, 
This one we haven't read yet. Okay, some of these are ticked, some of them aren't. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills of the northeast of Backborough. <gasps> maybe that's the one that we need to find or we have this gosforth is a hateful town i was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets after many days i was rescued by a kind stranger just so i'd come to fear the wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place i began my recovery in the woods south of the town with a group of travelers on the northeast corner of the woods i sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world i shall be returning to undermere soon Oh, these were like the first letters we got and I don't think I realized I had to find the place it was talking about. So we should definitely do that. Okay, I feel like this won't be considered a dangerous plant. So I might try and do this letter first, which means we need to look at northeast corner of the woods near Gosforth maybe. So let's find Gosforth. That's here. Would it be near Lowood or this wood? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe here. This seems like a big woods, but then it's not really named. This one's named. Should I try this here? Why did I come here? Okay, I think that was wrong, which means we need to try and water all of our plants quickly to get more will to explore. So let's do that. Okay, we're getting the will to explore. This is good. Yay! Okay, we got one more chance to try again. <laughs> um, what about this spot here? Northeast side of the woods if we tried this or unless it's here low wood it said gosforth right i think it might be here let's try this spot no <laughs> wait what woods is it talking about i'm getting this all wrong hang on let's take another look at this oh it says i began my recovery in the woods south of town right that's where i was going wrong because i was going to the east of town it's got to be this one this is the woods here right Let's water some more plants. This game is so puzzly. Okay, we've got it again. So northeast of the woods, I think this one. Maybe? Yay! The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It's not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Let's get it. The illustrations in this are so beautiful, by the way. <gasps> this is it curly little leaves yay we finally got it <laughs> that took us long enough right okay i can archive this now so the letters we haven't completed we should keep here and then the ones that we've completed we should put in the archive that makes a lot more sense i love this i'm getting very organized okay this is lady of summer i'm sure yay and we got a book entry now Ooh, a fennet Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. Ooh, cool. Okay, I'm going to put a little label on here, of course. Y'all know I love my labels. And this was Lady of Summer. Gosh, I love this game so much. It's so good. Right, next person, please. Next customer. Oh, it's our postman. They're saying that Ard has been killed. Yes, we know, actually. I know a lot of people don't trust the sisterhood, but it seemed to me the Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. Ah. Okay, we've got a letter. Let's open this up. Oh, we got world to explore. Nice. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you were determined to explore the Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Thank you, Amos. Great Gable, let's try and find that. Where is that on the map? It must be at the top, right? Because it's cold. Yeah, here it is. Great Gable. Let's go there. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I'm still some distance from the summit. I'm freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain. Unless... <laughs> Unless what? We need a brimlock. Okay, where's the brimlock at? Here it is. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a drought made by using leaves from the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. Brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Oh, I found a waxy and tough leaf before. Is it this one? Yes, move waxy leaves. Let's try this. Yay, we got the brimlock. Perfect. Let's make a little label there. Oh, is this a mushroom? This looks like a mushroom. Yeah, type of fungus. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, let's make a little label quickly for Brimlock. Perfect. I push on, no longer feeling the cold. I am presently rewarded. Heck yeah, we got a plant. What plant did we get? Ooh, a gray and orange plant. Love that. 
I do feel like we need to rearrange our shelves a little bit. Maybe we should put like known flowers in one section. I should probably order it with like the layout of the contents. That would be really helpful. So like the brimlock would go up top. So then it would be like, we just know where it is in accordance to the contents page perhaps. So brimlock can go like over here okay then there's space here for farmers worry this is good this is good to organize it like this i feel good about it next thing is the gandhi root can go here and we'll have space for the gilded drender the gray sandfire and then the harley quinn blue is next i'll jump back once i've like organized all of this because this is probably boring to watch <laughs> oh also we have this this little note that was just sat on the shelf what is this i have no idea what this does but i'll keep it in the letters for now i guess it looks like this shape maybe wait is that to do with this perhaps i have no idea what this could be okay i'll keep it in here for now i don't know what that could be so there's a lot more contents pages that we need to unlock of course but for now these are quite aligned and they're all in order and then all the ones we don't know yet are on this bottom shelf here so this is a lot more organized i was going to color coordinate them at first but i think this works better and oh we do have the will to explore again should we maybe do this one dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of backborough okay let's look where is that northeast of backborough here's backborough northeast of this would be northeast here maybe let's try it why did i come here no okay i got it wrong i got it wrong maybe it's here these mountains perhaps probably these mountains okay let's get another customer shall we norman lee hi norman this plant is cursed it brought me nothing but sorrow oh no he's back please take it i want nothing more to do with it oh wait <gasps> a new plant acquired wait is norman new i don't know who norman is it's a new mushroom no i can put that on my mushroom shelf for now exciting and let's get another customer shall we simone green hello hello always a pleasure my feline friend oh she's talking to the kitty i love her already i hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again i have a favor to ask you owe me for the hours i spent digging out the information on those plants oh this is simone well, yeah we've met simone before i've been burning the midnight oil again and i could use some common trouse and I know where to find it. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on Red Pike. I'll come by the day after tomorrow and collect it. I have business in Sedberg in the meantime. Here, take this. Ooh. Common trouse. Ooh, despite being described as common, the trouse can in fact be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance on the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Its leaves have been used for centuries as a balm against eye strain. Ooh, okay. Red Pike. Let's find that. Here it is. Let's go here. I enjoy the pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after. <gasps> we got it! Common Trouse is now ours. Ooh, it's pretty. So we got that for when she returns. Where did it put it? Oh, here it is. I need to spread these out a little bit. It's getting very crowded on my plant shelf. Okay, next customer, please. Verona Green. Hello. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of sort of thing. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad and the little bugger called my bluff. Oh no, now you've got to do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyway, I think a little display is needed to discourage this kind of behavior in the future. Have you got any shimmer lung? Ooh. Oh, and she's got a bio as well. Let's add her. Yay, we've got a new one. Verona Green. Verona has been studying the occult and the mysterious for many years. It started as a hobby but gradually grew into an obsession. She haunts the boundary between truth and tale, seeking out the knowledge that others recoil from. She also brews a lovely cup of tea. Oh, she sounds like a hoot. I would get along well with her, I think. I love a cup of tea. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we've got four more people to discover then. We're almost done with all the characters now. Exciting. Okay, Shimmerlung, let's find this for her. Shimmerlung, here we go. The dried stem of the shimmerlung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near-blinding white-purple light. The flowers grow wrapped in large, rigid leaves. Ooh, okay. This should be easy to spot then. This one? A pleasing scent. The leaves have stiff ribs. Yes, it might be this one. Let's go for it. Please be right. Yay, shimmerlung! 
Ooh, candlewood. That looks cool. Red flower that provides a shielding effect. That's cool. It might be this one or this one. Right, let's add a label to Shimmerlung. And where does that go on our shelves? Let's see. That will go just before the St. John's Poppy, which I think is here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have the will to explore again. Let's try this again. Northeast of Backborough. Here's Backborough. So northeast. Let's try here, I guess. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a grey morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over. A cloak of unwelcome shade. <gasps> this sounds so cool. The atmosphericness of this game. Atmosphericness. It's a word now, okay? <laughs> I've created a word. This is just so cool. Right, what plant did we get? Something dangerous. <gasps> Whoa, that looks dangerous. That's so cool. It looks like grapes. I would eat that. I wouldn't eat the stalk, but I'd eat this. <laughs> that made me kind of hungry. That's so cool. Although it is dangerous, so maybe I shouldn't eat it, actually. <laughs> okay, next customer, please. Ruth Douglas. Hi, Ruth. There is a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have any. I might. Ma something? Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves though. Ooh, okay, so it begins with M. Meek Jew, it's probably this. Let's see. A beautiful flower, she said beautiful, made up of many smaller florets. Okay, it's difficult to care for. It may be pleasant looking, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Okay, this is definitely it. Let's see. What looks like this? Wait, I don't know which one this could be actually. I don't know if we have this. Meek Jew. We must do though, because we haven't got any more letters. None of these seem like it. Maybe this? Small florets. This has got small delicate flowers. Should I try it? Let's see. Oh, it was right! Oh, that was a total guess by the picture. <laughs> okay, Meek Jew. Let's add a label. And that was the end of the day as well. Meek Jew. That was a total guess. So on this shelf here. Perfect. Oh, it's so exciting to get through all these flowers. It's so satisfying. I love it. I love this game so much. We do have the will to explore, but I don't know where we'd explore to. So I might save it for tomorrow, perhaps. Let's end the day. Oh, we get another card, don't we? Okay, click this. Oh, it's been chomped off. Oh, X marks the spot. What does this mean? That's all we get? Just a little X and a little chomp out of the side of the card? <laughs> Time passed. A year. And then another. The book remained hidden. Oh yeah, we're searching for a book, aren't we? But out of sight does not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested. What she brooded over when she did her chores. What she pictured when she dreamed. Oh my gosh, what an obsession. That's wild. This book seems dangerous, I can't lie. Do we really want this book? Or is this the book of the plants? Is this what we're, we're using? It seems dangerous. Do we have that card as a clue now? We do. How am I going to find anything with that? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? Should I just like attempt? It kind of looks like this little mark here, but it could also be this mark. I don't know. A chomp, chomped off the island. Oh, I can drag this on. I didn't realize I could do that. <gasps> Wait. Oh my God. I think I was right. Yo. Yeah, it fits. It fits to the edge of the island. That like literally fits. <gasps> okay. So if it fits like this. Oh, my brain is so big right now. It's going to be here. This spot. Oh, I feel like a genius. I feel like an actual genius right now. <laughs> Probably everyone else got that so easily too, but I feel like an absolute genius right now. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds, a reset. <gasps> we got two plants, heck yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I think they're my favorite ones yet. Little pom-pom blue one, looks fluffy. And then lilac, hello, loves it, loves it. Oh, I feel like such a genius. Today is gonna be a good day. Let's pet our kitty and get our first customer. Reuben Ward, hello Reuben. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly to me. Oh, it's Reuben. Oh, they're the investigator, right? Not that I have time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up by the Swinside Stone Circle and apparently it's a grisly one. Don't suppose you've got anything to keep, oh gosh. My stomach's never coped too well with the grizzly ones. Oh no, we need a fennet. Or so we can register his bio as well. Is there something new? No, it just registers his like new chat log maybe. Yeah, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, we need to find the fennet for him. 
which is this one. Oh yeah, we just got this yesterday, didn't we? Soft leaves, okay. Oh, I think it might be this one. Pale yellow flowers and the leaves are quite soft. Let's go for it. Yay! We start the day with a correct answer. We love to see it. Ooh, witch fig. Ooh, that looks so cool. I think that's a berry. That might be this one, potentially. Next customer, please. Ooh, we get our post. Heck yeah. Morning. Hi, David. Hi again. Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. Ooh. What is it? I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on my recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just north of Rusland. It was like nothing I've seen before. I would have boy back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. <gasps> Ooh, thank you, Verona. Okay, so Grisdale Forest, just northeast of Rusland. Let's look. Let's try and find it. Northeast of Rusland, here. So where do I go though? East of Rusland. Here maybe? Oh, we did it. From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Oh, creepy. Suddenly I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest. By orders of the Arda, says the leader of the trio, I turn to walk back. But then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. <gasps> Oh, we get the plant though. Mellow Glow. That sounds so cool. What does it look like? I need to see. Wait, where is it? Where did it get added to? Wait, did we get a new one? Wait, I'm confused. Did I mess that up? Oh no, I was supposed to put the Mellow Glow in. Oh, I think I messed it up. <laughs> Heck, I still have the letter though, don't I? I didn't realize what I was doing. I think I just clicked something. I thought I was getting a plant. Let's quickly water and get back there. <laughs> Okay, we've got enough now. So we were here, I think. Oh yeah, I clicked leave. I am such a melon. <laughs> right, mellow glow. Let's see. Oh, it's the sharp one. It's this one. For sure, that was easy. Ooh, we got a new page in our book. With the help of the mellow glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying me any heed. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant that Verona talked about and take my leave. What does it do? Oh, it makes you hidden from sight and memory. That is so cool. What plant did we get? <gasps> wow, that looks so cool. It's similar to this red one. Love that. Right, let's put a little label on the mellow glow. It's the sharp one. Yay, we have a full shelf here. We just need like one here, but these are all in order. That's so satisfying. And we can archive this letter. And next customer, please. Hi, Faye Swift. I'm afraid. Oh no. The camphor you gave me is helping my sleep. And I'm very grateful for it. But the visions are as strong as ever. Aww. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. That is really creepy. I love the cat just looking itself right now. <gasps> Wait. If you do the cursor, the cat follows the cursor. Oh. It's so cute. Sorry. Sorry, Faye. I'm back focused on you now. <laughs> she screams at me, but I do not know why. And behind her, that presence is always there. Dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams are like a warning that I don't understand. A mosaic of colour that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down the abyss, but I'm afraid. Oh my gosh, she's got a bio now. Oh, she always had the bio. She was the psychic, of course. Sorry, Faye, I forgot who you were for a second. Okay, she needs an aguaria or a candlewood. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's look for the aguaria. Ooh, is it gonna be the puffy one? This one's so cute. When burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, I think it looks like this one. So let's try it. Yay, aguaria. <gasps> Worry less. Oh, I need this plant. I definitely need this plant. <laughs> Worry less is an aptly named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flowers is said to ease the symptoms of anxiety. I need that. <laughs> okay, let's label this one quickly. And let's do another customer. Margaret Ellsworth. I don't think we've seen her before. We don't come to Undermere often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis, we simply must pay you a visit. It's a wonderful breath of a life in an otherwise dreary town. I'm the green-fingered one and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would do him good. And besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. It's literally raining, is that a good idea? Shame about this awful weather though. Yeah, true. True. 
You must come to Sizerg. Ooh, we have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I'm sure they'll be of interest to a horticulturalist like yourself. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh, Lord and Lady, I gave her the right accent for sure. You are cordially invited to Sizerg Castle, Lord and Lady Elsbeth. Ooh, okay, let's go there. Where is the castle? There's a castle, but that's not the right one. There's a castle. Here it is. Sizerg Castle. Let's go. I'm greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elsbeth herself. She's very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, that's sweet. She seems actually quite nice, even though it's raining. <laughs> oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize. But before I can stop to take a look, she's already whisked me on to the next. Oh, and this one too, she says. I'm quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library, and I don't have the time to make as thorough a study as I'd like. Nevertheless, I'm able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elsbeth cries as I make to leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands, and I thank her warmly. Aw, that's sweet. Fever kiss. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at these plants. They're so cool. Okay, that was a cool visit then for sure. Thank you, Lady Elsbeth. We can put that away. Next custom, please. Philip Shaw. Hi, Philip. Mushroom. Red spores. Moves in the dark. That's all I've got. Any ideas? I actually do. This one has red spores. This one's got red spores. This one has red spores. Uh, this one has red spores. Smells rotten. And this one has red spores. <laughs> so we, um, we have a lot of options. I think it was the Wandering Boo though, right? Because I think the Wandering Boo said that it moved, which is why it's called the Wandering Boo. Yeah, it can be known to cover distances of several meters in a single night. So I think it's this one. Let's go for it. Yay! We actually already knew that plant though, but that's fine. Next customer. That one was easy. Selena Scott. They're saying Black Comb is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me that he saw a ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all. But then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. Maybe he can. Either way, there's something evil in them hills and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor young man up in Swinside. I've come for some stinking mount cap. Okay, let's look for that then. That's a great name. I need to go and visit Swinside, I think. That will be the next place to explore, perhaps. Okay, stinking mount cap. I love it. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing called stinking mount cap is there there's sunset mount cap is that the same it's a type of fungus with domed caps sometimes called stinking mount cap okay because it was odor <laughs> it is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten okay let's see which mushroom seems right okay that doesn't seem stinky is this one stinky yeah it's probably this one smells strongly of soured milk bad enough to make my eyes water let's see if it's that yay sunset mount cap or stinky i like the name stinky more <laughs> stinky mount cap let's tidy up a little bit tidy up the shop Okay, and I want to go and visit Swinside. Where is that? I genuinely can't find Swinside anywhere. Am I just overlooking it? Maybe. Can't see it. I really don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's here. Swinside. Stone Circle. Found it, finally. Right, let's visit there. I shudder at the thought of what happened here. If these stones could tell us what they saw, a chill comes over me, and I realise I do not want to linger. Ooh, oh no, it gave me rise in dread. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> right, let's put everything away. And on that note, we will end the day. Do we get a new card? <laughs> yes, we do. I love these clue cards. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east where the ever heart grows. At 15, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. Oh gosh, wait, that's so sad. Is that... That's not about us, is it? Is that about someone else? Aww, that's really sad. Oh, it feels wrong to finish the video on that note. But I am going to wrap up there. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. I'm sorry it was such a sad ending. We will definitely find out what this all means next time. I'm going to pet my kitty look at them they're so cute but yeah thank you all so much for watching i feel like we got a lot done i'm so excited to keep exploring this game i'm hooked so so hooked i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i will see you in the next one
goodbye everyone